a mom given her life to try to save her child. Joining me tonight, back with me, Janie Weintraub, criminal defense attorney, and Catherine Smerling, a psychologist. Thank you both for being here. Catherine, let me begin with you. There's a little fact here. When After she shoots and kills this mom and takes her baby, she also grabs the baby's car seat. Mm -hmm. did, did, should I read anything into that? Finney, in my professional opinion, Miss McLean could really have been experiencing a brief psychotic break. She was, although she was calm and collected in front of the judge today, and she admitted to the heinous crime that she committed, she still was representative of someone who had a psychotic break with delusions, hallucinations, and a pattern of disorganized behavior. She had just had a miscarriage, and that indeed did, may have been a trigger for a psychotic break, as well it, it erased all adult rational thinking. It, she did not have the thought process of an adult. Instead, she had the thought process of a child who believes in magical thinking, that you dream something and it happens. It's particularly absurd because she had told her boyfriend that she gave birth to a baby boy, and she was an African-American, her boyfriend was an African-American, and she kidnapped a white baby. This is an act of desperation and disillusion, and also an act of a desperate woman who has not been violent in her life before, as her former husband has testified. He said that he was shocked by what had occurred because she was a kind and loving woman. So I'm appalled by her behavior, and as a mother and as a clinician, I'm appalled. But she really may have had a psychotic break. Janie Weintraub, now the legal system's got to deal with this. It looks like they were going for the death penalty in this case, perhaps. Um, so yeah, I think it's clear there's some mental illness here to a certain extent, but there's a difference between mental illness and legal insanity. And I look at this case, I mean, she planned this thing, she plotted this thing, she brought the gun, um, she knew what she was doing, and she tried to get away with it. So, I mean, is this a but case of legal mean... insanity? Well, but that's only the first part of the legal insanity test, as you know, un under McNaughton. It is whether or not she could appreciate the consequences of what she was doing. In other words, yes, she planned it, but did she understand the wrongfulness? And as we just listened to the, to the doctor, we heard the clinician tell us that there's a psychotic break. There's, there's a disconnect of reality here, and that's very obvious. I mean, Vinny, when you say mentally ill and death penalty in one sentence, that's what kind of gets me. This case is so heart-wrenching as a mom, as a lawyer, but the bottom line is we don't put people to death for their mental illness. This is obviously a situation where the woman snapped out of reality and reality separated from her. This is not somebody that we put to death. For wrongfulness. No, the, the, the problem is, though, and incarceration. The, the problem is, you know, if you have if you have a not guilty by reason of insanity, that's a difficult choice for a juror. I mean, if you had a guilty well, but right. mentally ill, all right, now we're talking. We're you know, we don't want to set this woman free from the criminal justice well, but, but, system. But, but an NGI and not guilty by reason of insanity does not mean setting the person free, as we've uh, seen with Susan yeah. Smith and we know from Andrea Yates. There's a whole mental institution. Sooner or institution. later they get out. Don't let's not be fooled. Sooner Vinny, or later they get out. I I handled Vinny, the not guilty by reason of prison. insanity in New Jersey for uh, a year and two months, and I saw killers released by judges. I saw people uh, who not killed often, in Vinny. cold blood released because their doctors came Vinny. in and said they're all better. Anyhow, thanks so this much, ladies. This woman's in her own prison. Believe me, Vinny. Thank you. More HLN special reports straight ahead.